What's going on guys, it's me Stair here, and thanks to my recent status upgrade, which reinforced my position as the best farm expert in the entire game, I can now confidently speak to you, no longer as a 6 digit bottom feeder, but instead as a 5 digit O's god. But Stair, I hear you ask, how can we become as good of an O's player as you are? Well, turns out you're in luck, because that's exactly what today's video is going to be about. Because today, we are going to take a look at 5 of the best and easiest maps, guaranteed to make you 5 digit as well. Now, how can I guarantee that? Well, we'll get to that. But before we can do that, let me just quickly ask you to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and with that, let's get right into the video. So, for my first pick, I've decided to go with Ainosukima, because it's incredibly easy and extremely overweight. Its only real difficult parts are the jump sections near the end, but even they aren't that bad. But the only real issue with this map is that by the time you're going to need this guide, it's most likely already going to be your top play with how popular it actually is. But trust me when I say, it's actually really worth it to grind out the egg on this map. Next up, we've got the extreme difficulty of Hikari. Now, at first you might be a bit hesitant because it says that it's 6 stars, but trust me, you have nothing to fear. And thanks to the high star rating, you don't even need that good of an egg to start printing those peppy points, which makes this map another prime candidate for being your first 200pp play. Now, up until this point, all the maps that I've shown you have basically been farmable with no mod, but let's spice it up a bit with some HDDT. Now, unless your parents have been spoon feeding you paint chips since you were a toddler, you're probably not too excited at the prospect of spending the next few hours trying to farm a kid show intro, but fear not, because luckily the map is easy enough for you to probably get to your PP payday within the first few attempts, provided you don't act choke the one stream. Now, next up, we've got another one of those maps which is most likely already in your top 10 plays, but you've probably not ground out the accuracy enough to where the map reaches its full potential. Which is why the number 4 spot goes to the horizon difficulty of Marshmere. And yes, I know, it's just another one of those stupid Miko maps with a single difficulty spike near the end, but hey, you came for the easy map, so what exactly did you expect? But don't worry, because the next map is going to be something very different. Okay, so for the next and final map we've got Pecora- oh, Wait, hold on, I think I made a mistake here. Okay guys, I'm really sorry, I made a big mistake, I've read from the wrong list. Those weren't the easy 5 digit maps, those were just my top plays. No idea how that could have happened, but let me just redo the video real quick. Well, I was going to do that, but then I actually looked over my list and, well, as it turns out, it's basically the same thing anyways. But but it's actually something completely different, because I'm no dirty farmer and my top place took a ton of skill. And I know it's going to sound mad rich coming from me, where 4 out of my 5 top plays are mega farm maps and it would have honestly been 5 out of 5 if I hadn't choked on my last video. But seriously. Don't force yourself to play that farm trash. Play maps you genuinely find fun, because the game is honestly not going to play any different if you reach 5 digits. It's still the same clicking on circles, so just go out there and have fun. And with that, we've reached the end of today's video. I really hope you've enjoyed, and if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And with that, see you next time.